Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie and I create home and lifestyle videos here on my channel. And today we're doing a lifestyle video and I am doing a fall clothing haul. So this is a collective clothing haul from Amazon and Target. All the things that I've purchased over the last like several weeks. So there's a little bit of things in here that were kind of from the summer transition to fall and then some things that are more fall specific and a little bit of even some of the cooler months as well. So I did do Amazon's try before you buy option, which I love. I don't know if y'all have ever done that before, but you can pick seven things and they will send them to your house without charging you until after the seven days when you need to return things and they will just charge you once you fail to return whatever you wanna keep. Um, it's super nice, they give you the return label, you can just package it back up in the box it came in, and drop it off at UPS. So I did do that option for Amazon. And then I got some things from Target with various sales going on that I can't wait to share with y'all. So what I do is when I have some things in my cart on Target's app that I will just keep on the app. And then when I know there's a certain sale, that's when I will buy things. So when they do shoes on sale, when they do dresses, sweaters, denim, whatever it might be, that's when I buy things. I don't ever buy anything from Target full price. So the items that I will be sharing with you were purchased when they were, I think all of them were 30% off. And I did try on most of the pieces for y'all, but the things I didn't try on are pretty self-explanatory, like t-shirts and things like that. So first, let's talk about the things that I purchased from Amazon or that I did try before you buy, since there are less of those items. So the first item I got from Amazon was this adorable little black short sleeve. Actually, it's more like a elbow length sleeve top from The Drop. This top is so stinking cute. It is 95% cotton, which is why I wanted it. I am trying to shop more cotton materials just because they're a little bit more breathable or in other natural fibers. So that's what drew me to this. And I also really loved the black. I just think it's classic and I do think that black for my coloring is more flattering than brown. So I am trying to switch out a lot of my fall wardrobe for more black and white versus brown tones. It's just for me personally, but I do really love this top. I love the cap sleeve or the little puffy sleeve. As I mentioned in, I think it was my last clothing haul, I'm being really particular about what I'm purchasing and trying to buy things that are flattering on me and that are comfortable and that are useful for my life and what I do. So I do really love this. I like the bigger sleeve because it balances out for my body type. I am kind of a pear shape-ish, depending on who you ask, pear shape or hourglass, but I do like to balance out my upper half since I'm bigger on the bottom. So that nice fun statement sleeve, I think is flattering on my body type and I really like it, I think it's so fun. This is super cute tucked into jeans with just a loafer or a sneaker. You can tuck it into a skirt and do that with like a higher boot up under the skirt. I think that would be precious. So I did get this in a small and I probably, I can't decide if I'm gonna keep it or not. I think it was $25. So I will probably keep it unless I find something else that I like better for a more affordable price. For fun, picked up this fun teal kind of corduroy button down. And I got this in a, what size did I get this in? Something I should probably know. I wanna say I got it in a medium. I will write whatever size I got it in. Um, but this is not as oversized as I was hoping. I like for my like flannels or button downs that are like a thicker fabric like this to be a little bit more oversized because then you can wear them kind of as like a jacket, like a shacket type thing, even though this is not what I would say like thick enough to be a shacket but it is something you could wear like layered over a t-shirt or a thinner blouse. So I would probably next time size up from whatever size I got. And I really like this color. Again, like I said, I'm trying to focus on colors that I think are a little bit better for my skin tone. So a lot of the like oranges and like the colors that are more uh, prominent in the fall season aren't necessarily the best on my skin tone. So um, I'm trying some different things this year. And yeah, I really liked this. I really like the color. I don't think I'm gonna keep it just because it wasn't anything super standout. But if you are looking for something like this, this one is so, so soft and feels like really nice quality. So I think if you are looking for something like this, they have it in a bunch of different colors. I definitely think it would be worth it to get it from Amazon or to do try before you buy. Okay, then I got this coat, which is gonna be hard to show you, but it's this gorgeous, like it looks like wool, but it's definitely not. 
um, black coat with the lapels and then it's got buttons. It is pretty long. It goes down to about mid calf on me and it does have the black buttons and a really nice pocket detail that they're nice deep pockets. This is made up of, I think it is, let's see, rayon maybe. I got it in a size small. It's 15% wool and then 85% polyester. Yeah, so it's definitely synthetic fabric, but it is pretty nice considering that it was from Amazon and I think it was like $58. So a couple years ago, I got a camel colored coat like this from Old Navy that I wear absolutely to death in the fall. It goes with everything. It's warm, but it's not like a parka. Um, which is perfect for Georgia because that's about all I need in Georgia is like a wool coat like this or a faux wool coat um, to keep me warm through the entire winter. We don't get a lot of snow or anything like that. So I wear that camel one all the time. It goes with every outfit. And I was thinking if I had a black and a camel, I would have all my bases covered. And I think it'd be nice to have black just because it's a little bit sleeker and it can look a little bit more formal. I do have like a formal dress coat that I, it's like a dark gray. So I'm not sure I necessarily need this, but I do like the way that it lays. It's nice and streamlined and sleek and straight. And I think it'd be really cute worn over literally anything. I could see this if I'm wearing jeans and like a black and white striped sweater, this over top, black loafer or sneakers or a little black booty. It'd be great. It'd be beautiful over a dress with boots, higher boots. So there's a lot of different ways to wear this. Um, I might even include some pictures from Pinterest of things that I ways that I would like to wear this if I decide to keep it. But then part of me also wonders if I should just keep an eye out at TJ Maxx for coats like this that would be maybe a little bit more higher quality. So that's kind of what I'm considering and debating about keeping this one. Okay, and then I got two different pairs of shoes from Amazon. So I actually have just gotten a different job, new job, I'm still a physical therapist, so just in a little bit of a different setting. And I can wear like cute fashion sneakers and jeans actually, which is super exciting. And I do have some jeans to share with y'all. But because of that, I love sneakers. I am a sneaker girl through and through. I wear my Viha sneakers like they are the literal only pair of shoes that I have. I wear them so, so much. And I have a pair of Reeboks from college that I wear a lot um, that are honestly worn out. And then I have like a pair of Vans that I wear. So. I'm a big sneaker girl. I like sneakers. I like fashion sneakers. They're comfortable, they're practical, and they're cute. So I got two pairs. The first pair are these from Steve Madden. They say NY90 on them, um, but they are just a white sneaker with a like tan suede star and then the suede on the back. And honestly, I got these in a nine and a half because that was all they had available. And they're too small. I need a 10. That's my true size is a 10. Um, I have big feet and I think that these would be really great if they fit me, but I also thought that this was blush and it's not, it's beige. So to me, I'd rather have something a little bit more funky and a little bit more colorful. So I am going to be sending these back, but they don't fit anyways. So they are pretty affordable. I think they're like $50. So if they do have your size, they had some other cute, like different colored ones, um, like some neon options and like animal print, like a bunch of different really cute styles and color variations but they didn't have them in my size and I don't think they were try before you buy. But even if they're not with Amazon, the return policy is pretty simple. So something to keep in mind. Of course, I will be linking all of these items. And the next pair I picked up were these tree torns, I guess is how you say, tree, tree torn, I don't know. Um, but these are them. I got these in my true size 10. They fit perfectly and I love them actually. I think they're super comfortable and flattering. They. I am replacing, like I said, my Reeboks that I've had since college. Actually, now that I'm noticing, these have some like damage around the outside. They're a little bit damaged. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I do love these. They're very comfortable. Um, I am replacing, like I said, my white Reeboks from college because they are like fabric. And so they get so dirty. And even when I put them in the washing machine, they don't come out perfect. So I really prefer this like leather. I don't know if it's leather or faux leather. It says leather and man-made upper. So yeah, I don't know. Um, but I really like these. They're a lot easier to clean and I really like the green. I kind of wish it didn't have this on the side and it was just on the tongue in the back, but I like them. They're pretty simple. I like the little like uh, logo on them how it's just like etched in there with dots. They're pretty neutral. I feel like they'll match a lot of things. And 
yeah, I think I'm gonna keep them, although I might have to ask for a different pair if they are a little bit damaged. I do really like these shoes besides the damage. Okay, so now from Target, as promised, I did pick up a couple pairs of jeans. And like I said, this is because I have a new job where I can wear jeans and I love to wear jeans. I would much rather wear jeans than scrubs actually, which sometimes I still might wear my scrubs. I don't know, because I am a lot to do either, but I do like to feel put together and like I am getting dressed for the day. And so, but I can't have, I can't wear jeans with rips in them, obviously, which happens to be most of my jean wardrobe. So Target was doing a 30% off sale for jeans. And so these, both of these two pairs of jeans were $22 with the 30% off, they ended up being like 15 bucks. And so it's a pretty darn good deal. So I picked up two pairs. They're both from Wild Fable. And I want to say, are they the same? They're both the super high rise mom jean but this one is curvy. So this is a super high rise curvy mom jean. It is the like black color. It's kind of like a washed out black. So it's a little bit more gray. And I got these in a size two, which I, they're a little bit snug. Like if I'm usually either a two or a four. So I would say if you're between, maybe go with the bigger size, but also I'm not sure because I do tend, I do feel like jeans tend to like stretch out and then they stay a little bit more relaxed. So I'm gonna keep these um, just because I think I'd rather have them be able to stretch out than for me to wear them and then them stretch out throughout the day and like not stay up. So I do like these because they sit up nice and high on the smaller part of the true waist and then they do allow room in the hips. So I think they're really flattering for $15. I've actually always had really good luck with Wild Fable jeans. Um, I've had several pairs in the past and I have always gotten them in a size two. So I, and they stretched out and have been comfortable on me. So I think if you're between sizes, just take that with for what you will. But um, I would say they run pretty honest and true to size if you do like a, a actual like waist measurement with a um, measuring tape. So these are the blue jean version. This is the super high rise mom jean. And I guess it's not the curvy version, but they're a really great like true blue denim. And same thing, they sit up nice and high. They are a zipper fly, which is very important to me. I hate a button fly. I feel like it's so bunchy and unflattering and bulky. And they hit me about like maybe two or three inches like off of my ankle. And they're kind of, they're not a skinny, but they're not like a, str a straighter or like flare jean by any mean, but they're a mom jean. So they're like between a skinny and a straight, I feel like, but this is to me is a better, is the like more flattering fit on me and my body type personally. Um, but if you're somebody who likes a super skinny jean, these wouldn't be it. And if you're somebody who likes like a baggy mom jean, these aren't really it either. They are fitted in the waist and the butt um, and the thighs. And then at the knee, they kind of start to taper off a little bit to where they're a little bit more relaxed through the shin. So just things to keep in mind. And I am five six for height reference. Um, I just got the regular length in both of those. Then, for something fun, I, like I said, got a new job and I get to wear, I'll talk about wear in maybe some future videos, but basically I get to have a little bit of fun at work now and we have, um, we're having like fall Fridays where we're able to wear like fun things for fall on Fridays. And so I got this cute Hocus Pocus shirt from Target. It says it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus and I only saw the one and it was in an extra, extra large, but I prefer that because I can wear it with leggings um, or jeans and just tuck it in. Like, no, it's not a big deal to me if it's oversized, but this is one of the like women's, I think, sizing and it is very soft and comfortable and I am a 90s baby. So I'm obviously super excited about the new Hocus Pocus movie. And I just thought that would be really fun to wear to work. Um, and just in general on Halloween, I actually don't have any Halloween like shirts or anything. Like I have a graphic tee for Christmas that says Mary that I'll wear sometimes. And I don't know about for any other holidays, but I just thought it'd be fun to have. And I can always like wear it as like a sleep shirt or a lounge shirt. I think it was like $14, so it's not bad. Um, and I'm excited to wear that. This red dress, I got this because it, dresses were 30% off. And I actually have this dress in navy, and I'll insert a picture of me wearing it in the navy. Um, I love it because it has adjustable straps. It is has this like 
um, smocking in the top, but it cuts off like right under the bust. So you can be wearing anything underneath it and you can eat as much as you want. And this dress is just flowy the rest of the way down. It is like a midi length on me. It goes like, I think halfway down my shin probably. And I love the navy, especially cause it's dark. I can really wear like any undergarments and you don't really need a bra with it cause of the smocking, which is great in the summer when it's so, so hot in Georgia, just to be able to throw on one piece with sandals and look like you're dressed up, but really you're super comfortable is amazing. And it also has washed really well for me. The navy one that I have, it washes great on delicate. I hang it to dry, no big deal. So one of my friends posted that she got this red one and I thought, I think I'm going to get it because it was 30% off. So I think it was like $20. I know I wear the Navy one a lot. And the reason I got it was because I am a Georgia Bulldog fan. I went to the University of Georgia. So for like football games or tailgates or whatever, not that I've gone to any games this season or I'm going to go, but um, just in general, if you live in the state of Georgia between the Braves, the Falcons, the Georgia Bulldogs, like having something red in your wardrobe is probably not a bad idea. Um, and I also really like a true red on me. I think it's a good, it's a decent color on me. So this is something that I am very happy to have in my wardrobe. This next dress is from Universal Thread and it is this beautiful black cotton, 100% cotton wrap dress. And this is a midi style or it's a midi length. This dress is so pretty it I saw it um in the store when I was there with my friend and I said oh my gosh like it's got the little cap sleeve the pretty wrap detail in the v-neck a tie and then it goes down to about a midi length um and it was 100% cotton like I said if it has sleeves on it in the summer I'm hoping it's 100% cotton and this one was it is from Universal Thread which is one of my favorite brands at Target and I did I did wait for this one to go on sale as well so I think I got it again for like 20 bucks I got it 30% off I know that for sure it has pockets and it's not see-through, which is really nice, even though it's that nice cotton material. I would have probably sized down in this if it was available um, to an extra small instead of a small because the small is a little bit big on me, but I had ordered it and then it came in stock and I actually needed to wear it to a funeral like the next day. And so I did not have time to return it or exchange it for a different size. So I just made do with the small. But if I were you, I would size down, or if you're between sizes, go to the size down. It does run a little bit oversized in the top, I would say. Um, but this dress actually ended up being a beautiful funeral dress. I know that's a weird occasion to kind of have clothes for, but it was really nice for that. Um, I don't know if it comes in other colors, but it's just a great, like, flattering dress that you could wear for, you know, several occasions where you need to be modest and classy. I just thought it was so pretty. So, definitely up my alley and something that I think I can wear forever. Like, I think this will never, ever go out of style. The last two things are basics, and I have already worn this shirt a ton. I actually need to wash it because I think there's a little bit of makeup on it. But, um, that is the trick with white <laughs> is you run that risk but I actually think white's kind of easier because you can always bleach it if you need to. But this little white t-shirt is from A New Day and it is kind of a like dropped shoulder little cap sleeve and I really like it. Um, it's super flattering. The neckline is a little bit high, which is why I got makeup on it. So I need to wash it, but I got this in a small and it is, let's see. I also got it when it was 30% off. It is 100% cotton. Um, and it has this cute like seam down the back, like this little detail I think is really pretty and something that's a little bit more elevated than just like your basic white tee. I do have a basic white tee as well from Target, but I really liked this. I love to wear a white t-shirt and jeans and sneakers. That's like my favorite outfit. I will say it over and over again, but having something like this to layer underneath a cardigan or another jacket, I picked that one up. It was very affordable. I think it was like six or eight dollars. And then I also picked up this tank top from A New Day as well. I think this one is cotton. I got this in a small. I haven't worn it yet. Um, it's 58% cotton modal. I don't know what that is. And spandex. So I got this one just because I don't have any white tank tops because most of mine, I think I got rid of mine in my last declutter. And I just needed something basic just in case for layering under things. Um, and I think this was like four or six bucks. It was very affordable when I got it. So it was just kind of a basic that I wanted to have um, in my wardrobe. I did pick up when shoes at Target went 30% off these brown like cognac colored loafers. I love them. I think they're so pretty. They are 
flattering on the foot. They're like narrower looking, but they don't feel narrow when you put them on. Um, they look like a penny loafer style. And I just think they're really nice. I think these were from Universal Thread. And I, oh, they're from A New Day, actually. I have a pair of brown mules that I got at Target, like, I don't know, six years ago. And I wore them to death. Like, the, the sole finally fell off. And I glued it back on because I loved them so much I didn't want to give them up. So I think these are going to replace my glued together shoes this year. They're the same color, but those were like a cut out, like pointed toe kind of slip on. And these, I think the loafer style is really in this year, but it's also very classic. So I feel good about wearing these um, with jeans and like blouses or jeans and a button down or whatever. Um, I don't know. I don't think loafers really go well with dresses. I think you can definitely do mules with dresses or boots, but probably these will just be for when I wear them with jeans, like to church or, you know, out and about or whatever, but they are slip on very comfortable. I did get my true size 10. They do look a little narrow in the heel here, but I didn't find it to be uncomfortable. But then again, I have not broken these in yet because the weather hasn't been appropriate for it. But that is all of the things that I bought for my like fall wardrobe. As you can see, very neutral classic color palette and neutral styles and lines. So that's kind of what I'm going for this year. Try not to be too over the top. Um, but things that I can incorporate into other seasonal wardrobes as well. And also things that I now can wear to work. So that's definitely going to be a little bit different moving forward with the clothes that I buy is that I now can actually wear like real clothes to work and not just scrubs, which is very exciting for me. So anyways, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more clothing, book and home decor videos. That's pretty much what I've got going on lately. Um, I am doing a little home project today that maybe I will get to share. And yeah, anyways, I hope y'all are having a good one wherever you are. And I will see y'all again very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.